So the first thing you're going to want to do is familiarize yourself with the graphical user interface. And the easiest way to do that is to open up the GUI by typing slash grid space config. You're going to want to take a, several minutes to go through all of the options here. And depending on which modules you have loaded, you're going to have more or, or fewer options. So I'm going to start out by going to my profile and making sure that I have a new profile enabled. So getting started, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is probably go to the layout and unlock the frame. That's you can do by unlocking the uh, the frame lock button. And now we can move grid around. Now where you put it, it's probably going to be different than where you want it right now. I would just put it off to the side somewhere so you can mess with it a little bit. Uh, real quick, just looking through some of these basic options here, you can see when you tweak the padding and the spacing that it'll adjust the individual frames themselves. Uh, what I recommend doing is blowing up the scale to probably as big as you can make it. You can always shrink it later and it'll help you adjust some of the fine tuning. There are different ways that you can configure a grid. What you're going to want to do if you're not in a RAID configuring it is just adjust the solo layout. So I'm going to set it to by group 25. Now depending on how you like to have your parties arranged with your frames, you can either enable or disable horizontal groups. If you have horizontal groups, you're going to see the first party spanning across and then the second party below that spanning across versus if you have it unchecked like I do, it's going to span down. The last thing you're going to want to do is adjust the uh, border and background. If you just want to have the frames themselves show up and have no background, then you just set this alpha over here on the right to zero. Uh, if you want it to always have like a black background or a white background, then you can adjust it here. Let's make a few more aesthetical tweaks before we get into the nuts and bolts of the mod itself. So what you're going to want to do is click on frame, where you see this uh, center text length you can actually increase or decrease the amount of letters that you want to show uh, for player names. So I'm going to go ahead and set it at 7 and then expand out frame. Now you're probably not going to see all these options here in yours because you probably won't have all the modules that I have and I'll go over these in uh, future videos. So under the advanced options you can see some uh, extra things here. The first thing you're probably going to want to enable is the center text 2 indicator and that just gives you a second row of text that you can use later on. Icon size is probably going to be fine at 13 to 15 pixels. That's just uh, the icon that will sit in there if you want to show a uh, debuff. The corner size represents the actual dot that sits in the corner for uh, various indicators. I would just leave that at 7 right now. The font, uh, we'll set it to Arial Narrow. And the size, we'll make it, say, 9. Now here you can adjust the frame height and the frame width and I like to have rectangles, you might like to have uh, squares. That's really just an aesthetical preference but I like to be able to get more information uh, spanning across. So I'm going to go ahead and use 28 height and 45 width. And then of course the texture you can adjust those. Okay, so we like how that looks. Now let's see what happens when I cast a small heal on myself. You can see there's a green corner indicator that's an incoming heal, and then it shows the number 51. That means that based on the math that the mod did, there's going to be a 51 heal coming in. The next thing I want to show you guys is the corner indicators. And these come with the stock version of grid and they can be very helpful. Um, what I want to do is put an aggro alert in the top left corner of the grid box that I know when someone has aggro they're probably going to need a heal. So I check uh, aggro alert there and watch when I aggro mob you'll see this little red box. Now take a look in the bottom left corner scroll down you'll see incoming heals is showing. So now when there is a heal incoming to that person a little green box and that will work for everyone so long as they have the heal calm mod enabled and that comes stock with grid other useful things you can put in the corner indicators are things like hots uh, whether they're your own or like a druids 
Uh, I'm a priest, so I probably want to show bubble as in power word shield uh, when I have that on somebody. All right, so let's see what happens when I get into combat here. Uh, I'll explain some of the things that are going on, and these are just stock settings. So we have our aggro alert in the top left corner, and you can see as I'm getting hit, this bar is depleting from the right side to the left side. And what you're also seeing, that negative number is a health deficit. Ah, there we go. That is a debuff icon to show that I have fairy fire on myself. And it's got a blue border around it because it's a magical debuff and I can actually dispel it at a later level. I don't have uh, dispel magic right now. So what I want to do is I want to adjust this top text layer to not actually have anything. I don't want it to show anything but the person's name. So I'm going to uncheck everything from the center text option here, except for unit name. And I'm going to go into center text 2, and I'll go ahead and leave up things for ghost and so on and so forth. And I'm going to go ahead and keep health deficit checked and incoming heals checked. And so now let's watch what happens when I get back into combat. Now when it reaches the health deficit threshold, it'll actually list my deficit right there. There it is, minus 10. And then when I heal myself, there it is right there. Incoming heals. Very good. The last thing that I want to show you guys in this beginner video is uh, the statuses tab. And this is very important because it actually affects the colors and the priorities of all the different heals and debuffs and information that you're seeing. So auras are things like hots and debuffs and anything that can be applied to your character. So for instance, let's look at power word shield. Now this is very important for me as a priest, so what I want to do is crank the priority up to 99 so that if it's on somebody it's always going to show no matter what else is on them and I also want to check and make sure that I show it if it's mine that means if it's somebody else's it's not going to show the other thing I want to show is if weakened soul is on somebody which means I can't bubble them I'm gonna go ahead and set that to look kind of uh, red so I know it's bad do not try and bubble them. And I'll also show the duration so that I know when it's going to expire. Basically the way priority works is it doesn't have any uh, gravity as to the number itself, but it just weighs in. If a number is higher, it's going to override something that's lower. A 99 will override a 98 uh, if it's competing for the same like frame, if it's a corner indicator or one of the text boxes right here. So for instance, right here you can see that I have a deficit of 27 damage taken. So what I'm going to do here is toss myself a heal and you can actually see that the heal has higher priority than the, than the deficit. So I know when I'm getting a heal. And we can actually go in and verify that. Sure enough, the priority for health deficit is set at 30. I'll crank it up to 50. The threshold is set at 80% health, th so when someone is at 85% health, it won't show their deficit. You'll just see, you know, a little sliver of their health gone in the box. And in the incoming heals, is also set to 50, so we'll crank it up to 55, so it's just a little bit higher than that. Actually, let's crank it up to about 90. Incoming heals are important. You want to know when someone's getting healed. And that about does it for this first video. Uh, this was just to go over some of the very basics so you can get yourself a nice little grid set up and go do some healing. I'll be posting some more advanced videos of some of the mods that I use and some of the way that you can display hots and timers and things like that in the future. So stay tuned and thanks for tuning in.